this is hebrews chapter 2 verse 1 it says therefore we ought to give more earnest heed to the things which we have heard lest at any time we should let them slip i want to give all praises honor and glory to yahaba hashem yahushai i want to give double honor to the apostles of great mercy and do rule well salutations to the men of the whole plan since i elect as much as i from a trend that camp saying shalom all right here just to do a little edification and the name of this lesson will be don't let it slip as i just read in hebrews it says um less at any time we should let them slip and keeping earnest heed is to the doctrine how we were we were woken up to the doctrine of yahweh hashem yahweh shai that the name of the Moses is yahweh his son's name is yahweh shai the negroes latinos and native americans are Irish only and true people which make up the tribes of israel all right the hour for the trip is the mark of the beast world war three is at hand and the lord is coming back to save his elect and destroy the wicked and the wicked is you know the so-called white man which is esau according to the scriptures and the other nations and that is the basic basis of the doctrine and that is the thing that we have to take earnest heed to all right the scripture said go out and preach the kingdom of heaven is at hand and that is the basic part of the scriptures all right once we believe in this then we have the chance of the hope of salvation but don't let these things slip don't don't forget what you once learned and then go back into the world worshiping idols worshiping jesus worshiping allah Salasia, worshiping all these false gods don't let these things slip all right and another way to not make it slip is by what by adding on to the doctrine the scripture said that in revelation chapter 22 he that add on to the words of the lord or take away when you change the doctrine as the scripture said in um, galatians chapter 1 verse 10 i'll read that real quick this is galatians chapter 1 verse 8 it says but though we are an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that you have we have preached unto you let him be a curse as we said before so i say now again if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that have that that you have received let him be accursed all right so we have to stick to the gospel that we have been taught from the apostles all the way down and if you change this doctrine you add on to it, things that are not scriptural or take away from the meaning from the wholesome doctrine the lord yahaba hashem yahusha will destroy you you're on your way for destruction all right and there's a reason we out here we are to constantly warn men especially young men when they're coming in don't try to be so zealous and proud that you think that you know or learning more than the apostles that you could go out and you, you know the, the lord dealing with you on another level you getting your own epiphanies the lord giving you your own breakdowns and you think and within yourself that you are at some level that the apostles have the breakdown wrong or you know it, it really should be taught this way or you go to other camps and bring doctrines from other camps or from in the world or from esau and you know bringing it into the scriptures all right bringing it into the scriptures bringing it into the doctrine the scripture says do nothing that the gospel be not blamed when you do this you actually you marking yourself for death the scripture said whose damnation is just all right so don't let this doctrine don't let this hope or the chance of salvation slip away from you don't let this word this wholesome this pure word slip from your mind don't slip back into the world other you you stop believing in the scriptures because of persecution or you believe me you let satan enter and you believe that you're on some level that you know more than everybody you know more than the apostles that have been doing this thing for years and you start teaching where what doctrine don't let it slip all right this is um hebrews chapter 13 verse 9 it says be not carried away do not be not carried about with diverse and strange doctrines for it is good for it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace and not with meats 
which have not profited them that have been accompanied therein. So it's good for the heart to be established with grace. The grace is that we sin against Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and the Lord sent his son. The Lord sent his son. That is the doctrine. The doctrine is Yahweh Shai died for us. All right? The doctrine is Yahweh Shai died for us. So we, that is the foundation of our doctrine. Because of Yahweh Shai, we have this chance of the hope of salvation. But when you want to include meat, so you want to add in all different things into the pot that are not supposed to be there. Here you're making pilau, but then you want to add, um, you know, curry into it. You know, you want to make it into a soup. All these kind of things. You want to take, you know, currants roll and put currants roll in water to boil to make soup with, with, with chicken. Guess what? You're making a mess of the doctrine. The doctrine has already been made. You it don't need nobody to add new things on it. You don't have to be innovative in this doctrine. Stick to, how, to what you have been taught. Don't let, it, don't let Satan enter into your mind and let this doctrine slip. Don't let the chance of the hope of salvation slip from you. Alright? Say so it is good that the heart be established with grace. You have to empty your cup to come in. Don't come in this truth with, 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 with things that you learn in the world. Feeling that, you know, hey, this truth is just something that you could just add there upon and just go about. This is, this is life. This is life and death we're playing with. So leave it as it is and just learn. Just continue learning and teach what you have been taught. Don't add to it. Because the Lord will add unto you the place. Don't take away from it. Because the Lord will take away your name from his book. That is what the scripture said. It is impossible for them that have one been enlightened. After they fall away to come back. Alright. You fall away from this truth. You can't come back in. Because you crucify your house. Shite it to afresh. And pay them to open shame. By going out and teaching you where what doctrines. The scripture says some shall depart from their faith. In the latter days and now we in the latter days and we've seen that especially young men and because the and the, the main reason is young men because why they're full of pride they're full of pride and that is actually we're gonna be the cause of their destruction that's gonna be the cause of the destruction this is revelation chapter two uh i said that too I know thy works, and thy labor, and thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil, and thou hast tried them which say they are apostles, and are not, and has found them liars, and has borne, and has patience, and has for my name's sake labor, has, um, has labored, and has not fainted. So yeah, you've been diligent in this truth, you've been, you've been pushing hard because you believe, but as the Lord said. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against you because you have left your first love. So you sort of depart from the doctrine. You sort of doubt certain things that the apostles teach. You sort of not believe the new moon Sabbath. Doubting that the RFA the chip is the mark of the beast. You're still pushing that Esau is the devil. You're still pushing that the Negroes, Latinos, and Native American are the true Hebrew Israelites. But guess what? 99% truth is not the truth. Anytime the truth is mixed with lies, it is not truth. 50% truth and 50% lie is a lie. 99% truth and 1% lie is a lie. It is not true because the truth is pure. What the scripture said, this, 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 this. let me read that real quick. Um, this is Psalms 12 verse 6. It says, the words of Yahweh are pure words. As silver tried in the furnace of the earth, purified seven times. So the words of the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai are pure words. So they can never be defiled. The scripture said, no unclean thing can fall into her. So when you start, when you believe in the word, but then you start teaching things that, that are not scriptural and you can't prove, but because your evil heart Imagine these things. Guess what? You start going off and you lead in the path of destruction. So, as the scripture said here, in verse 4, Nevertheless, I have somewhat against you because thou hast left thy first love. Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come upon thee quickly, 
and will remove thy candlestick out of thy place except thou repent. So repent, turn back, teach what the Lord gave for you to be taught. Teach what the apostles taught. Don't go and teach your own things. Don't let these words slip. All right? Don't let these words slip. Don't let it slip. Stick to where you've been taught. All right? Um, this is the final precept here. This is Ecclesiasticus chapter 19. Verse 24, it says, He that had small understanding and feared Yahweh is, is better than one that had much wisdom and transgressed the law of the, the Mosai. So if you, if guess what, if you have small understanding and all you know is, hey, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, are the Hebrews, right? Esau is the devil, because as I said, it's the basis of the, of the doctrine. Yahaba Hashem Yahushai. And you believe that the Lord coming back to deliver us. And you believe that we are about to enter into the hour of temptation and the hour of the chip is the mark of the beast. Once you believe in these things, hold fast it because you'll be, be delivered from that. You'll be delivered by that, I meant to say. Because that is the doctrine. That is the foundation of the doctrine. What the scripture said, take heed how you build upon because your works will be tried by fire and if the day will reveal it. And then your works will be burnt up because why? Because it is not, it can't be purified. It's going to be burnt up. It's not the words that the most are you teaching. You're teaching your own vain words puffed up from your own vain imagination and from your pride. So stick to where you've been taught. All right? Don't let these words slip from you. Whether you have great understanding or small, stick to what you've been taught. Don't let it slip. And with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahaba Hashem Yahushai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great mercy that do rule well. Salutations to the men of the hopeful and saints. Say, This is Makazafim in Trinidad. Come, say, Shalawam, and stay strong.